Hi kids, welcome back to Faith Sprouts and day five of creation. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you count to five in Spanish? Let's try. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Day five. What did God create on day five? Well, let's start in Genesis 1, 1. Do you know the memory verse? Let's say it together. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So now God has created the whole earth and now he's ready to fill the earth with life, with things that live and breathe. On day five, God said, let the oceans be filled with creatures that swim in the sea and let the sky be filled with creatures that fly in the sky. God created birds and fish, all kinds of birds and all kinds of fish. Let's see some of the birds and fish that he created. Well, in the sky, he made all kinds of birds that fly, little birds, big birds, birds with all kinds of different colors and shapes. A little red cardinal there resting in the tree and black raven flying in the sky. A white dove, gentle birds, strong birds like eagles with big, long, majestic wings. Birds that sing songs in the sky. Some birds fly and swim, like ducks swim in ponds, but they also fly in the sky. Here's the little little ducklings following, following the mama. Following the mama duck. Can you quack like a duck? Quack, quack. Yeah. And beautiful swans that can also fly. And not only birds, but there are flying dinosaurs. God created dinosaurs to fly all these birds that filled the skies and filled the earth. And he also said, let there be creatures that fill the seas. All kinds of fish, colorful fish, little fish, big fish. There's just some little ones, but let's look at some bigger sea creatures. Here's a whale shark to fill the seas. Here is a dolphin, a playful dolphin that likes to jump and play and jump out and high in the sky and spray water. Here is a humpback whale. It's a, one of the biggest whales, a very big whale. They like to come up and do kind of like backflips in the water. God created all these amazing creatures and sharks going swimming around, finding their prey. Well, when God first created them, they weren't mean animals, but we'll talk more about that later. And what about even penguins? Penguins are interesting because they are birds, but they don't fly, at least not in the sky. But have you seen a, a penguin swim in the ocean? It's almost like they fly in the ocean. So God was very creative and made all kinds of different animals just so many different kinds of creatures. Do you have any stuffed animals at home that are either a bird or a fish? Where do they go? Do they swim in the ocean or do they fly in the sky? Maybe you can find your own animals and that God created on day five. So let's sing our creation song all the way to day five. Here we go. God created, God created, dark and light, dark and light. That was on the first day, that was on the first day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created, water and sky, water and sky. That was on the second day, that was on the second day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created, land and plants, land and plants. That was on the third day, that was on the third day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created, sun, 
moon, stars, sun, moon, stars. That was on the fourth day. That was on the fourth day. It was good. It was good. God created, God created birds and fish, birds and fish. That was on the fifth day. That was on the fifth day. It was good. It was good. It was good. I just looked down and saw I forgot this dinosaur that swims in the ocean. There we go. God created birds and fish, sea creatures and sky creatures on day five. Let's pray together. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for creating birds, all kinds of birds, and creating creatures that swim in the sea. You are awesome. I love you and I worship you in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. That is day five, and we are ready for next lesson, day six. What did God create on day six? I'll see you then. If you want more activities and crafts for day five, click the links below and you can do some activities at home with your family. I will see you next time. I love you. Bye.